over the course of a few months. First, I'm going to show you with glosses. Um, the first one I have are, uh, well, the one I have with me right now is uh, the NYX Butter Gloss in Strawberry Parfait. It's purpley, has a purple tint, smells like cupcakes. You can get it at Ulta for like five bucks or something or online at NYX.com, wherever it is you are. Um, I really do like them. They wear good. They're not thick. They're not heavy. I hate thick lip glosses. I hate. Ugh, I just don't like the feeling of lip gloss on my lips. It's like all I used to wear is lip gloss, but like you know how the Mac um, lip glasses are. They're too thick for me, and they're they're too sticky. These are the exact opposite. They're perfect, lightweight. Love them. I have another one in another like peachy color, which I'll put down below if you'd like to know that. And they have a ton of shades, which is awesome, and I'm going to go back for more. Next, I have two of three show-off lip glosses I have. I didn't feel the need to buy all of them or many more of them because there are a lot of things I already have, a lot of shades I already have. And I think these are lip lacquers, yeah, so they're like glossy lipsticks, and they're really nice. I have a pack of lip dick, which is like similar to what I'm wearing now, which I'm not wearing, but similar um it's like a dark magenta kind of pink toned red i'd say these have the generic watermelon scent and i have the other one in comet which is a pink brown a brown pink i should say it's more of a nude for my skin tone or deeper skin tone and I don't wear this one quite often, but it's a nice color. They're thin. They're like they're not too thick. They're not sticky. They're not heavy, which is a reason why I like them as well. I have another color in Celestial. That's not with me, but it's like a a blue toned pink, a little more neutral pink though. If that makes sense, like it can be wearable. It's a little bright, but it's still wearable for every day. I'd say. And these. I can only find it in my area at Walgreens, and they're about six to eight bucks here, I think. I'm not entirely sure. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up in medium. I love this. This is it's replaced my MAC concealer for months now. I used to use both of them together. Um, this is more so of every day. I know it looks a little light. It has a little wand little doe foot applicator. Yeah, I've had this for six months and it's not empty yet and I'm hoping I can find some more because my Walmart has ran out of these or something. Like they have already stocked the shade or most of them and I love this thing. So I haven't seen them anywhere else anymore. I love it. These are like five bucks. They don't come in many shades but I do love them. They're like medium, light to medium coverage. I think you I feel like you can build it up to full. But if I need more coverage, I'll throw on my MAC Mineralize on top. But this has replaced every concealer I've been using. Because my MAC MSF and give me sun. And it looks a lot of that. It's actually darker on camera, but darker in real life than it is. Orange toned, you know. It's okay. I've been wearing this every day since I got it, and I've had it for months. For like six months. And it's just starting to not delve anymore and I have plenty more to go so I like this uh, $30 I think which is a little much but next I have um, a Chanel uh, Joie Contrast blush in the Fandango which I only have for a little bit I'm not sure if it's breaking me out but I do like it I really do it's like a dusty rose dusty peach we'll go with that sometimes it can come off muddy but other than that i really do like it it's very um silky it's lightweight it has like a satiny finish i don't know if this is discontinued or not elizabeth arden matte moisture cream which i haven't seen much about on youtube or anything to be honest 
if you have oily skin, this is a product for you. If you have dry skin, probably not, but combination, you can do away with it. Um, but it's supposed to keep you hydrated and your face matte all day. It has like a scent that I don't care for, but you don't notice it on your face. My next one is Elizabeth Arden's 8 Hour Cream, which I already know. Um, Twitter, uh, not Twitter, YouTube has been a buzz of this for years, and I'm just now deciding to buy it. I do like it for a dewy, satiny finish, though. This is everything to me. I love it, but not more than the product I'm going to show you next. It has a medicated smell because it's for healing and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of like an expensive Vaseline, if you will. This is my holy grail right now. It is a drugstore item, but let me tell you, this thing here is the Olay um, Fresh Effects along with moisture and gives you a satin finish. This is what it looks like. If you can see that. Oh, I wear this every time I put on makeup. There's no day I don't use this. I love it. This is $15, but it gives you a satin finish, a slight scent, but it's not overpowering at all. It's a gel, uh, cream gel based moisturizer is how they advertise it. It's, it's everything they say it is. It feels so satiny. It's smooth. I, for me, because I like gel based primers and stuff like that that work best for me instead of cream or silicone, gel based is everything. Like this skips the steps for me as far as primers go. I do not need a primer with this because in a, in a sense this is a primer and moisturizer in one. It, it hides my pores. I don't have makeup singing into these fine lines. Not like I would if I used a regular primer which is weird. It gives me a satin and dewy finish. Like now you see like, I don't know if you can see it on camera but I do have a glow and I, it's this. I have been wearing my makeup since. 9 a.m. and it's like 7 o'clock now so it holds up really well. I don't really use a setting spray. I do have a mineral mist I use but uh, I hope you liked my favorites. I hope you saw something in here that you've never seen. You might want to try out. Please give things a try. I, these aren't even new things but if you haven't tried them out go for it. Like I was skeptical too but now I actually kind of like these things. So yeah. Um, all makeup and uh, jewelry and nails and whatever will be down below if you need to want to know anything um what else can I say follow me on Instagram Twitter Tumblr if you have one um interact with me I'd love to hear from you guys uh yeah so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video bye